In Going Under, there are five mentors for you to complete tasks for. Completing each task unlocks special abilities or perks that equipping that mentor will give you. Each mentor has eight different tasks for you to complete. Some of these tasks are pretty straightforward, and some can be pretty tricky. I'll go over how to complete each task for Kara in this video so you can unlock all her abilities and the trophy along with it. Alright, let's get into it. Kara's first task is to install 10 apps. This is probably one of the easiest tasks to complete. You'll complete it naturally just running through the dungeons. Pick up the apps as you're going through and each one will count towards that 10. Once you hit 10, you're all done. Kara's new ability will let you hold two apps instead of one. Kara's second task is to destroy 15 laptops. This one again is pretty easy, and you can do it in any of the different dungeons. Keep your eye out for any laptops that are in the stages. You can either pick them up and use them as weapons, and when they break they'll count towards the destroy 15 laptops, or you can just smack them with another item or punch them until they break and that'll count as well. Do that 15 times and you're done. Kara's next task is to electrocute five enemies. This one can be done pretty easily and can be done a few different ways. The fastest and easiest way that I found to complete this one was just to pick up any electronic item in the dungeon and then keep using it to attack with until it breaks. When it breaks, it'll shock the enemy and it'll count towards this task. Things like laptops, calculators, monitors, anything like that will work. Once you've electrocuted five enemies, you're all done. Kara's next ability lets you visit the app shop in the dungeon. In the shop, you can buy different apps. Her next task is to walk a Claire to floor B3 of any dungeon. A Claire is her dog, and he'll be chained to you as soon as you enter the dungeon the next time once you've gotten this task. All you have to do is make it down to the third floor, and you'll automatically complete this task. While this is pretty easy to complete, a Claire does weigh you down, slowing you, and hindering your movements. So just take your time and be careful when you're fighting in each room. Kara's next task is to defeat 10 enemies with bricked phones. This has got to have been the most frustrating task in all of the game for me. It took me forever to figure out how you actually brick a phone. I knew it had something to do with the phones that you pick up that give you the different abilities in the dungeon, but for the life of me, I could not figure out how to brick a phone, and it's actually really easy. I ended up actually doing it by mistake and figuring it out that way. All you have to do to brick a phone is when you see one of the apps sitting on the floor, don't pick it up, leave the room, and then come back to that room, and when you come back, the app will no longer be there and there will just be a bricked phone in its place. Then you can simply pick up the bricked phone, it'll act like a weapon, and you can just use it to defeat enemies. Because I didn't want to have to brick a whole bunch of phones, what I did was whittle down enemies' health really low with other weapons, and then use the bricked phone to finish them off. This way, I could get a few kills with just the one bricked phone.
Once you've done that 10 times, you're done this task. Kara's next ability makes all your apps more powerful. Kara's next task is to kill a drone. This is really easy as long as you've gotten to the last stage in the game. In the last stage, you'll have to fight drones in some of the different rooms no matter what. Once you defeat one of them, this task will automatically complete. The next task is to deal 50 damage to an enemy in a single hit. This one can be a little tricky. The easiest way I found to complete this one was to equip the financial gain skill. This makes your strength tied to your wallet. Go through the dungeon. I had uh, Tappy equipped as my mentor so that I was getting extra money. The more money you have, the stronger you get. Then keep attacking enemies trying to use your heavy attack. And as long as you get a crit with one of the stronger weapons, then you'll get the damage. Kara's final task can be a little tricky, but really isn't that bad. It's to take a photo of a black hat in the Styx coin dungeon. This can be done very easily as the black hats show up in various different rooms. To complete this one, you will have to find the Mob Flash app and hold on to it until you find one of the black hats to take their picture. The black hats are pretty easy to find. They are the skeletons sitting working on a laptop with a black hat that gives shield buffs to the other enemies. Once you find one of them in a room, just trigger the mob flash ability and you'll have this task completed. That's it. You've completed all of Kara's tasks. Her final ability gives you a special app that you can use in the dungeon. As you can see here, the app is called the Canceller. When you trigger it, it will destroy a random enemy and just remove them completely. Once you trigger the app, it will automatically remove one enemy from the fight. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for even more going under tips and tricks. That's it for now. As always, happy gaming.